we're at UCF, we're going to be challenging every student with this particular question where we're saying evolution is impossible, prove us wrong, we'll give you $1,000. More specifically, Eric is going to give you $1,000. I think it's one of the best tours we've ever done. I mean, it really was amazing. Uh, we would set up our booth, uh, hang our banners, and then just sit back and wait for students to come have a conversation with us. What more could you ask for? You know, it really was an amazing opportunity to represent creation and Christ in a powerful way to thousands of students. And out of all the students we spoke with, guess how many were able to actually prove to us that evolution is not impossible? Zero. That's right, not a single student was able to provide evidence that could refute our position. Check it out. Let me explain what we're doing, guys. We're trying to give away $1,000. If you want to talk to us, there's a line right over here. Trying to give away $1,000. Anybody who can prove evolution. We've actually got a piece of paper. I got volunteers out there with this piece of paper right here. Here's the proof we're going through. I'm gonna have John run through it real quick and tell you what the proof is. And anybody who can disprove this will give $1,000. The reason we're doing this, the implications of this are big. If evolution, macroevolution is not true, there's only a one other game in town. There's only one other worldview that can explain our existence. And that's, you were created. Now a lot of people don't want to believe that because they don't want to be held accountable to the creator who ultimately will be our judge. We're doing this because we love you. I'm putting this money up because I care about you. I want you here at this college learning the truth. And anybody who would like to challenge this, we're not giving you bias, we're not giving you opinion, we're giving you scientific facts. That's all we're giving you. Anybody who walks away, anybody who walks away from the scientific facts and says, I'm going to ignore the scientific facts because I want to keep believing what I'm believing, that is absurdity. That's not education. So we'd like to give you the scientific facts and show you what the truth is and then have you challenge it and win a thousand dollars if you can beat the science. Nobody so far has beat the science. If these values were true, this could make sense. If this is probably true, then... What does that mean? Yeah. Then evolution would probably be impossible. Thank, Thank you. you. Evan, Thank we appreciate Evan, it. Thanks. Have you disproved my argument that ape-like creatures could not evolve into humans because it would take too long, actually developed by uh, an evolutionary geneticist? Have you disproved this argument today? No. I, no, told you, I told you I wasn't going against that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a biomedical neuroscientist working for NASA, so I am going to tell you what I'm Indeed, I no. am going to tell Indeed. you, I know what I'm talking Indeed. about. Good. Would you at least consider this? If what we're telling you is true, would you consider this? Because it makes evolution really impossible. Yeah, I mean, I think it's definitely going to make me question a lot of things. I think Good. That's what science should do, so. Good. And we've seen them on camera change from believing that evolution is true to saying evolution is false. You might as well change brass to you. You might as well rest out the answer. You might seriously. Hey. I like it. I like it. So we How did you change your mind? We just talked about it. Oh, did you just yeah. talk about it? All right. All right. All right. With the groundwork being laid, these students are now open to the message of the gospel. And they were ready to explore the truth beyond the science. They started realizing that there's a creator who loves them and he wants a relationship with them. So we're so excited and we give them the gospel, we give them the hope of eternal life, and we've seen many people come to repentance of faith. It couldn't be better than that.